All right, welcome back to All for Taste. Um, we're going to have another beer that was given to us by our good friend Dave from uh, Beer Sampling with Dave. This is, uh, this is the Brew Kettle Production Works, the White Raja. It's an IPA. Uh, now they have a White Raja and they have a Black Raja. Um, I'm assuming the Black Raja has probably roasted malts and that kind of thing in it also. But, uh, yep, let's go ahead and uh, pour this thing. By the way, it says uh, right on here, what does it say? Oh, from Strongsville, Ohio. Dave lives in Cleveland, so I'm assuming it's right close to Cleveland. Um, Percentage-wise, I saw this in here a few minutes ago. Where was it? Percentage, 6.8% uh, by volume and 70 IBUs. So it should be kind of, uh, you know, very, very hobby. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open. <clears throat> there we go. Pop it open. Ooh, good smoke out of there. Ooh, you might be able to see that smoke. You see that? Yeah, good smoke coming up out of there. There's the cap, by the way. It's got, uh, looks like a, I want to say a bear, or maybe it's a beaver, I don't know. It's got some kind of animal in there holding a, holding a beer can, uh, beer glass. It says right on it, Strongsville, Ohio, the brew kettle. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, there's the uh, the label in case, uh, in case you want to see. All right. Let's go ahead and pour this thing. I'm going to pour it kind of straight down the middle. I tend to be a little bit too, now, see this one I didn't? I just can't pick them. You know, sometimes I go 45 degrees, and then it's like no head whatsoever. If I go straight down the middle, then it gets massive head, so who knows. Let's go ahead and just kind of gingerly do this, shall we? I'll even go at a little angle here. Yeah, it's going to be a big head, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with big head amongst friends, right? All right, looks nice, though. Very, 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 very big head. Put that right there so you can see that maybe in the background while I'm doing this. By the way, there's a hair right here, so I'm going to get the hair out. Anyway. But yeah, beautiful color, uh, beautiful uh, dark amber color, slight copper color. The bubbles are pretty tight. I mean, they're not completely compact, you know, foam, but it's, I mean, you know, like a, uh, like a Guinness type foam, but it's a pretty compact head, just off-white, maybe a slight, slight beige to it, but mostly off-white. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go and smell it, shall we? Ooh, yeah, lots of citrus, of course, right off the bat, off the bat. All right, yeah, lots of... Lots of citrusy smell, slight floral. I mean, you got your orange peel. You got even some pine up in there. Yeah, well, I was gonna say pine's the pro uh, most prominent, but yeah, maybe some grapefruit peel is is even more so. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and taste this thing. Looking forward to this one. Wow. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely grapefruit peel. You get the orange peel taste, um, very citrusy, but you also get pine. <clears throat> Slight, um, I don't want to say caramel, but a little sweetness in there. It, it tastes pretty good. Maybe a toffee type of sweetness. Mm. Very good. Very easy to go down, too. I want to say it was 6.8% uh, by volume. You know, a little bit of alcohol. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's... It's a pretty good chunk, and uh, yeah, actually goes down pretty good, nice and smooth. You get that um, that hoppy bitterness there at the beginning, just for just for a couple seconds, but um, then it goes off to some uh, nice citrus flavors. Like I said, a little sweetness from maybe a toffee or maybe a caramel type of um, a sweetness. And it just mellows out. Very very medium to light body or mouthfeel. Good stuff. Good stuff. Of course, great lacing because the head was so huge. Yeah. Decent lacing. Very, very nice stuff. Now, doesn't look like this is a very, very large brewery. It even says on here, um, the TBK Production Works, the brew kettle, TBK, um, is, the broody arm, uh, is the brewery arm of the brew kettle tap room and smokehouse uh, restaurant. So I assume it's a restaurant that has, well, it's a tap house. Which is cool. I like those. I like those kind of places. We got the only one I know we have around here in Northwest Florida is um, uh, what's the name of it? Is McGuire's, which is an Irish pub, and they brew their own stuff, uh, and they have been for years, and it's you know it's pretty decent. They're also getting ready to open one up here in Panama City Beach. Um, I don't know, a couple weeks, I think. Um, but it's 
it's a wine world is the name of the liquor store that it's attached to but uh, anyway they're gonna have a brew they actually they call it a gastrous pub I don't know why they would call it that um, e either way it's gonna be a, a brew pub there they're gonna be doing their own stuff so yeah can't wait to can't wait to try that but yeah great stuff here this is like I said the white Raja there is a black Raja which I'm gonna drink next um, like I said I assume it's gonna have more roasted malts in it it's gonna be a darker color probably um, yeah, look forward to this. Good stuff. Thanks, Dave. Great stuff from Ohio. Just sitting here drinking the whole thing. Oh, I forgot to have some more in here. Haha, I did because the head was so big I couldn't pour it all in there. Here we go. By the way, the road's kind of busy today. It's Saturday morning. And yard sales. Oop, yard sales are going on like crazy. These southern people like the yard sales. So, hey, pick up some good stuff too. I picked it, I went, I'm looking for some chairs. I got some chairs, but I'm looking for some uh, Adirondack chairs to put in the front yard. Okay. Anyway, I don't know, can you see them? Can you see my pine trees? I mean, my, um, you can't see my trees. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here, check out my cheese, my trees. Got me some, uh, some cool palm trees, so. We're here in paradise, right? All right, so, anyway. This is, uh, all for today saying peace.